ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Season 2, Episode 10 of NXT The Game. We have just ended NXT TakeOver Sold Out, where a lot of things happened. you have to go back and watch if you haven't watched it, but let's get straight into the action. We have no pre-show tonight. We have a very segment-heavy show as we are building off of what happened. The biggest thing that happened to NXT TakeOver uh, Sold Out, so let's get straight into the show. Alrighty, here we go. The all-gold limo pulls up and stops at the entrance. The doors... Uh, Swing wide open as Kevin Ash, Scott Hall, Kevin Owens, followed by the newest member of the NWO Gold, Charlotte, gets out of the limo and woos! The fans boo as Scott Hall and Kevin Ash are dressed in scoots. Kevin Owens is dressed like Kevin Owens and Charlotte is dressed in a gorgeous dress. Kevin Owens seems very animated and excitingly violent when making gestures about fighting, which Charlotte appears to be on the same in return. The NWO Gold has just entered the arena. All right, Renee Young, welcome to NXT. We are just days removed from NXT TakeOver sold out, where all NXT champions retain their belts on NXT TakeOver, marking this the first time in NXT history that this has happened. It was a pretty special night, Renee. Lots of amazing matches, including the main event. Bo and Mr. NXT went at it for 20 minutes, but at the end of the day, Bo Dallas was the better man. He Bo lead. We fade into highlights from NXT TakeOver sold out, followed by our opening video montage. To start the show on a bout that featured great action and average heat, Neville defeated Matt Jackson in 12 minutes via the Red Arrow. So Neville gets a victory over Nick Jackson here. It appears that the NW Gold are heading towards the ringside area. Looks like they'll be coming up soon. In an extremely short match, Blue Pants drew Portia Perez following double disqualification. During the match, we had Charlotte run in and attack both of them, leading to the double disqualification. So the NW Gold is standing around right now. After the NWO Gold theme had hit, Charlotte had just walked in for whatever reason and attacked Blue Pants and Portia Perez, sending the two ladies out of the ring. Kevin Owens, Kevin Ash, and Scott Hall, who were circling the ring when this happened, all step over and pass the, the fallen woman, and they get to where Charlotte is wooing some more. Scott Hall grabs all four women in the NWO as the group stands in the middle of the ring, facing the crowd. Hey, yo! The fans boo as Scott Hall looks around. How do you think we look now? Hall and Nash point to Charlotte who walks up to the rope and begins screaming at the people in attendance. And even Kevin Owens can be heard audibly off camera saying, I love this woman! As we catch Carter flashing her pearly whites at Owens. You see, while Sasha Banks may be a quote-unquote legit boss, the NWO is only interested in alphas. The fans boo and chant for Gable and Jordan as Kevin Nash takes a moment to cut him off. Yeah, keep dreaming, not those idiots. The fans boo some more. Ladies and gentlemen, the plan was put in place pre-legacy, and gosh darn it, if the plan hadn't been executed to perfection. The, the NXT Women's Championship is on the way to us. It's on the way to the NWO, just like the NXT Championship. The fans boo some more, but begin to cheer as William Regal's music hits and blaring as he shows up on the entrance ramp with a microphone and starts to make his way quickly to the ring, but thinks twice of it. Kevin Owens, goddammit. Albert is out now thanks to you. Son, you are out of control. Kevin Owens looks at Regal with a smile. Should have gotten in my way, the fans boo. It was not he, but it was he, but not I, who requested the match, Regal. The fans boo some more. If you can't tell, I'm pretty pissed off mood tonight. And your face is plastering all over Spike TV isn't making me any happier. Charlotte Doll, I can tell you right now, despite your lack your attack on Charlotte Banks, you will not be getting an NXT Women's Championship anytime soon. The fans cheer. Charlotte plays it cool. Scott Hall tries to talk to Regal, but he cuts him off. Shut your mouth, the fans cheer. The fans are very excited now that Regal's going back and forth with NWO. I get it. You played us. You got one over on us. You have some power, Scott. But you don't hold any championships, and you're not going to have the chance to do so anytime soon. As long as I'm here, I'm in charge. The fans cheer. Quite frankly, while I'm around, you are still second. You're still... William Regal's hit from behind and begins to roll down the ramp hard until he reaches where the ring and Matt connect. The fans boot the side of Regal rolling down the ramp, then are confused and shocked as Colin Cassidy is standing at the top of the ramp with a smug look on his face. The NWO Gold seem a bit confused as to what's happening, but Cassidy still stands there, locking eye with the NWO Gold before walking away. Before we fade to the back, we focus one more time on William Regal out, the NWO Gold, then Colin Cassidy. Cassidy has just attacked William Regal, and we have no idea why, but he has switched to a badass gimmick. Now, back to the ring in a match that had falling in action, but not the way to make Blake and Murphy defeated Gargano and Ciampa in 8 minutes when Blake hit Tomato Ciampa with pinfall with a factor it after a distraction of Alexa Bliss. So Bliss distracts the um, Gargano and Ciampa, and Blake and Murphy pick up the victory. The camera now shoots us a uh, backstage shot as Colin Cassidy in the back talking to Scott Hall and Kevin Nash very animally, who appear to be telling him something. Cassidy just nods and walks away.
So Cassidy turns. Is he with the NWO? I'm not sure. Probably. I think that's the direction I'm going with Cassidy joining the NWO. Um, maybe. I don't know. But it was a Cassidy heel turn here. Mainly to set up Enzo Mori and Colin Cassidy. Thing I want to do. An extremely short match now. Baron Corbin defeats Ty Dillinger in one minute with the end of days. So this was just a squash match for uh, Baron Corbin here. Keeping him strong. Colin Cassidy is in the back with his bags leaving the arena as Enzo runs up to him. Cass, what the hell was that? Why'd you attack Regal? Cassidy looks at Enzo and pushes past him heading out of the arena leaving Enzo confused just like the rest of it at home. Why did he attack William Regal? A video hyping the NXT champion Bo Dallas and his return to NXT next week airs. We see clips of Finn Balor and Sami Zayn match at NXT TakeOver sold out and how it was a double DQ and how it went into utter chaos. And in the main event, it had some good action in average. Sami Zayn defeated Tyler Breeze in 13 minutes with a hell of a boot. So uh, we had Sami Zayn pick up the victory over Tyler Breeze, another very good wrestler that we portray here in NXT The Games Universe. That was it for NXT this week. We've gained in five, lost in one. This was NXT Season 2, Episode 10. The big news, of course, was Charlotte coming and debuting and debuting with the NWO Gold at TakeOver um, sold out. And this week with William Regal finally standing up to the NWO for the first time since he returned. And Colin Cassidy, for whatever reason, knocking him down the ramp a little bit. So what that means for Cassidy's heel turn, I'm not sure. But it does mean that we have a lot of stuff to go on with NWO. And, you know, we're going to have to see the direction that they're going. Thanks for watching, everyone.